So, it's my life. Don't you forget. Alright, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. That's really amazing. I'm really excited. And this is Romeo, and welcome to my vlog. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Shout out agad kay Nancyilo Monserrate. Hello, nang. So sa subong nga video, maga isure kita sa isa ka um, American. So are you guys ready? Let's go. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Hi guys. So, um, ari ta subong sa um partner sa ako nopod, and um, she is a teacher at White River Elementary School. Um, she is teaching fourth graders, yes. right? Yes. And um, I want to introduce you guys. She is Mrs. Roberts. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for doing this little job. You're so welcome. Our next question is, um, nagimo siya ten questions. Kagapon nagimo man ten questions. Um, I hope this will be fun. We're gonna make it fun for you guys. All right. So, um, these are the questions nga ginimo ni Mrs. Roberts, and these are actually my questions. Shall we start? Let's go. Let's do it. So, mind you. Before that, while we're doing this vlog, I actually brought. A snack, Filipino snack. Um, an mga Pinoy kabalugit ko ano ni. This is actually a Filipino snack. I don't know if you will like this one, but it's salt and vinegar. Well, I've had salt and vinegar chips before. Oh really? So did did you like it? Yeah. All right. Thanks. I mean, do you drink soda? Yeah. All right. For you. Just a simple combination. No, it's gonna. This one. So I'm looking at them and it says pork cracklins, so they're like pork rinds. What's that? They're, so are they like dried pork rinds or are they potatoes? Because I saw this cracklins. So here in the United States, when you see cracklins, that usually means it's uh, fried pork, so like pig skins that are fried. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to keep up saying English to Mrs. Roberts, guys. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so how about let's try it first. Okay, let's go. Good? Okay. So, they just first. They go first. Okay. Okay. First, question. first question. What's your favorite movie? Mm. Um. My favorite movie. Oh, I just ripped it. Sorry. <laughs> My favorite movie would be Memoirs of a Geisha. So, if you haven't seen it before, Memoirs of a Geisha is this beautiful movie directed by Rob Marshall and it outlines um, what it would have looked like for a geisha mm -hmm. post World War II. No. They're like entertainers in Japan, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so what are you most proud of as an American? Mm -hmm. mm. Have you heard the song Proud to be an American? No, I haven't. And I'm proud to be an American. Oh my gosh. Okay. Have you have you been here? Oh, you haven't been here before the July, have you? Nope. <gasps> okay. So I was here last September, so. That's right, because you came in later mm -hmm. in the year. Okay. So I would say Probably the thing I'm most proud of as an American is if you look at our like founding documents, um, and, and you know we're not perfect, so we're not always going to live up to those ideals. Mm -hmm. But I think what makes the United States such a unique country is that it was founded on ideas. You know, it's founded on an idea of democracy, of appreciating individuality, um, freedom of faith and expression, and I think those are really beautiful values. That I hope that we can like maintain. And what have you learned about the Apache culture so far? All right. So say, wala pang mga mga nakabado nagatudlo ko di sa isaka reservation. And when we say reservation, the community is actually Native Americans. Okay. And Apache. This is actually a 
Is it a tribe? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a this is a specific tribe in this reservation, and you call that Apache. So, well, I I got to try the fried bread. Okay. Yeah, and I watched the movie Smoke Signals last oh, night. Yeah, yeah. I I really find Native Americans that are very simple individuals because I think they do have that culture that when when an Ameri a Native American actually become successful, they, they don't actually stay in their place and they get to go outside mm -hmm. and explore. Yeah, and so they see yeah. that almost like as a betrayal, you know? Yeah. Like if you leave, if you leave to better yourself, you're leaving us. Mm -hmm. I'm like, so this is my fun <laughs> questions. He keeps getting my serious ones. Yeah. <laughs> what was your biggest struggle as a teacher? Ooh, that's a good one though. Mm -hmm. um, I think, I think the hard thing for me is probably what's really hard for every teacher is that you, I mean, one, you want to be successful for yourself, right? Like, yeah. I want to do a good job. Mm -hmm. But I think that there's so much pressure from all sides that sometimes I feel we're actually kind of set up to fail. And I don't think it's any one person's responsibility. Like, I, I don't blame a principal or administrator mm -hmm. or anything. Um, so I think that's just hard is, is like, trying to meet all the different expectations, mm -hmm. even if you know that you, like, it's not realistic. And you know, you're, and you're evaluated as a teacher is based on that too. Yeah. So. so what has been your favorite food? Oh, I like chicken. chicken. So anything, but that chicken. So fried chicken. If you could describe yourself through a song, what song is it and sing it? <laughs> okay guys, you know what's really fun about this question? You don't know this about me. I'm actually a classically trained singer. So oh. before I went to school, I actually studied opera. That was like what I wanted to do. Wow. <laughs> I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna sing opera for you, but here's the chorus, so. It's my life, don't you forget. It's my yes. life, it never ends. So that's the chorus of it. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so, I'm white, obviously, but mm -hmm. my grandma's the one who raised me. She's actually Shawnee Indian, so she's Native American. Oh. And then all my cousins are Filipino. So, I have a little... really? <laughs> so, so <laughs> do you have a blood of a Filipino? I don't have no, not my blood, it's by marriage. Oh, okay. But it's just oh. like all that family is all, all right. Filipino. Yeah, right. and then my husband's got Mexican. It. So yeah, we got a big old big mix, global union there. Okay, if you're not a teacher, what career or job do you think you will be? Hmm, good question. I think if I wasn't doing this teaching, I would still be teaching in some other way. So like I, I do blogging and blogging stuff, mm -hmm. um, although it's mostly like <clears throat> tutorials. Mine, mine are probably going to be way bo more boring than this because I actually show you how to do stuff on the computer. <laughs> probably not as fun. But, but it's very informative though. Yeah, than it's, this. Helpful. <laughs> it's helpful. It's <laughs> helpful. Um, so like, yeah, I'll probably do that. Another thing I do is I lead teachers on trips. So like oh. I just yeah. So I just posted this thing today. I'm actually gonna be taking teachers to Finland in November. Um, oh yeah, wow. about that. Yeah. So because we're, we're supposed to go. That's this really week. amazing. I'm really excited, and yeah. it's 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 great because it's something I like doing. I love traveling mm -hmm. and seeing, experiencing new cultures. I get a very lame answer though. <laughs> no, no, no. A place in the world you want to visit. Yeah. Okay. So I accidentally opened. <laughs> no, it's gonna be a question. Um, well, I want to go all over the place. That's like what I said. I love traveling. Um, but I really want to go to Japan. Japan. I've been putting, I've been putting it off for years because it's, it's more of an expensive trip because mm -hmm. the flights cost a little more. Yeah. You know, yeah. yourself out, right? Yeah, but we need to end coronavirus first yes. so that you can go to Japan. <laughs> yes, exactly. What is the biggest difference you've noticed between Filipino and American education? But, Based on the number of subjects that we're teaching, it's really a lot. Well, back in the Philippines, in a classroom setting, you get to have like more or less 40 students. Oh, wow, that's a lot. In a classroom, but here, like right now, I only got 17 students. And I think the average here is like 25. Well, and I think that the average here on the reservation is lower too. Because yeah. I, I have- And I think that's practical. What else do you do you expect from me? <laughs> I don't know because I've never been to the Philippines, so you know it's like I'm just curious of what what it's like for you guys there. Teach, do you have like just to add on to that? Um, so I know like in the United States, there's a really big difference of like separation of church and state. So like legally, I can't talk about faith or oh, God or anything like that. What yeah. else, can, do you guys have that too, or is, or can you talk about? Because I've noticed that like it seems like a very heavily like Catholic mm -hmm. country, right? Yeah. Do, can you guys talk about that, or is that separate? 
Well, um, I, way back in my elementary years, I actually experienced like a relig religion um, class. I don't know if we're still practicing it back in the Philippines. Apple and Vip, go go ahead. Mm, describe Filipinos in three words. Yeah. Come on. Okay. So let's see. I'm just really trying to think. Um, it's it's hard to say all in one word. Like the first thing that comes to mind is like life of the party. To be sorry. Maybe be the life of the party. Because uh, <laughs> every I mean like my Filipino family members and you guys are all like this. Like it's like you can tell when there's something going down because you're here like hey or whatever you're saying. But you can tell they're super excited to see each other and you know, and you're like always congregating, there's always like a group, you know, mm -hmm. you never see one by yourself really. Yeah. So I would say life of the party, so you're super social. Okay, that's the word. Social, and then you're fun. 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 And um, I want to say, I really I really do want to say like hard working. Oh. Like, really work ethic. Next question for me. I got three questions left. Okay. What is your favorite place in the United States so far? So far, the best place for me is in Florida, Orlando, Florida. Oh, you went far. Did you guys drive yeah. to Florida? Yeah. <gasps> First, because the climate, the weather, will oh, different from the one that we have back in the Philippines. Sure. Of course, I did that city Tabiki, a taga Kapayawan. So I actually enjoyed my our stay in Florida because of Tita Victoria. Oh. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> What is your biggest achievement as a person? Hmm, that's a good question. Um, well, I have really strong faith convictions. You know, I'm a Christian, and I would say that that my biggest achievement, I guess, is not even really anything I've done, but just recognizing what God has done for me. That's not really like probably what you're looking for, but um, it's it's hard for me to, even the way I was raised, is like not to look at my achievements as being really big. Yeah. So get this statement: Americans love to eat blank and drink blank. Hmm, okay, well I want to say junk food for both of them. <laughs> they, um, probably steak, when I think of like the most yeah, American steak. thing, yeah, I steak. Eat a lot. People here eat a lot of red meat. Uh, we don't actually eat as much red meat, but we, we eat some, but mm -hmm. yeah, I feel like it's a very, a very American thing. Yeah. And then soda, obviously. Uh -huh. um, I'm a big soda drinker. I know it's not well, good for you, but yeah. it's so good. <laughs> so like, I, I, I drink red Mountain Dew, like, all the time. That's oh, my mom eats really good. Hi. <laughs> How are you to find at Yeah, it's super sweet. It's like um, grenadine, you know, like pomegranate mm. kind of flavoring with cherry and oh, okay. Mountain Dew flavor. So lemon Thank lime, cherry, pomegranate. It's really good. Thank <laughs> What's been the most shocking thing about American culture? Bruh. You know, you have to tell honestly what what you feel and think about that person and. Um, and in return, the person should actually take that as a not as an insult, right? Oh, so that's one of the things that I appreciate in in my school. So, if you were to say a prayer at this moment, what would it be? Hmm. Probably just thank you. <laughs> thank you for all this. Thank you for for having a God that loves us. Thank you for all these things you provided. Thank you for I have, so I mean, it just that's kind of my constant prayer, anyways. Thankfulness. Alright, that's great. So, you're done with all of your questions? No, I have this one last one. Alright, my last question will be What has been the hardest part about being away from home? Um, before I actually went here in America, I actually settled my mind. Okay. And I, I actually, um, um, set up some expectations of what I'm what I will be dealing with here in America so I think to deal with homesickness it's good that we have this technology like the, we get to have like video calls Facebook mm -hmm. so in that way you can actually ease the homesickness that you are you're trying to experience and uh, Hi, everybody. I'm just thinking of the of my goal here that this is actually one of my dreams, so I'm very thankful. Oh. Man, yeah. that should have been the ending. That was like a perfect ending. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I really admire that. I admire like anyone who just like 
who uproots and goes and tries something new. I think that, that takes a lot of courage, so you should be like really proud, proud of that. Thank wow. you. Wow. America. I've been thinking about this the whole time. <laughs> it's kind of as a joke, but also kind of serious. Kanye West. You know oh, Kanye West is? Yeah. Yo, Taylor. I, I'm really happy for you. I'm gonna let you finish. But Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. One of the best videos. Yeah, okay, so that's funny because I was gonna say Taylor Swift is like the woman of America and Kanye West is kind of like a man. But okay. but not like, it, and the fact that they had conflict, but just like their, their personality. Kanye is very individualistic. He's artistic. He's outspoken. He speaks his mind. Mm -hmm. um, he, um, it's, it's been several years now. And Kanye is like a totally different person. Like he's a Christian now. Or just kind of do represent Americans. I mean, he's obviously very clever and gifted and smart. But Taylor Swift, I think of her as especially like even with how America has progressed and women in America have progressed, she started as kind of like a sweetheart, mm -hmm. like, oh, so cute, the oh, baby girl. 15. As she was <laughs> so little. And now, um, and now she's like really grown and matured as an artist and as a person. And I think now she's asserting herself more and saying like, no, what I provide is of value. And I think that's also just shown the cultural shift in America. Yeah. You know, women, um, Have you seen have her seen documentation, The American? American? Yeah. yeah. All right. So, yay, we're done. We're done with, uh, with our questions. And um, I want to thank you, Ms. Roberts, for doing this with me. And I think that's really fun. And I, fun. And I learned a lot of things from the Americans, from you. And, and I hope that you've learned some things about Filipinos yeah, as well. All fun. right. I think we should end this video by simply saying our thoughts about about this coronavirus right now that we're what what can you say about this situation yeah. that we're right now um it's i think that this is one of those things that we're gonna read about when we're older mm -hmm. and like the kids will read about yeah. I think it's gonna go in history books it's unprecedented and i think like i think this is really gonna change the face of education i think a lot of schools are gonna switch to online learning i have just my prediction and, um, oh no, they will not be needing teachers <laughs> I anymore. I know, I just, I, it's just, it's weird to think about because I mean, you already kind of saw that it was already kind of trickling yeah. in. I think a lot of people are going to be like, well, we could just teach online or like, you know, I think you'll see that. And you'll also see a lot more remote work. I think it's actually going to change a lot of things. And I think it's going to make people more careful. They're going to think like, yeah. should I wash my hands? Should I touch the doorknob? Like they're going to be more, yeah. more careful about this. On the contrary, um, I think it has also um, a positive effects to some people, especially when you're a busy person and your focus is only work. Yeah. So when you're now locked down in your houses, you get to mingle and to bond with your family. Yeah. So I think it's the, it's the time, it's the it's the specific time for for families to actually know, to have that bond again and to actually enjoy each other's company. Oh. You know this? The difference again between Americans and Filipinos is that I think when Americans deal this problem really seriously, well, Filipinos are really silly. <laughs> you know, they are, especially in Facebook, they're posting a lot of memes, a lot of videos about coronavirus, and just, they just, you know, make fun with it. I mean, it's not really a negative way. I don't perceive it as a negative um, attitude of Filipinos toward coronavirus, but it's. I think it's more of a like uplifting. Yeah. Me personally, I do hope that this will end yes. soon because I really wanted to go back to work, you know, and um, I, won't, I miss my kids. I miss my students. Yeah, but um, there's nothing we can do with it. It's mm -hmm. just that we have to pray for this one. I think this is also one of God's will for us to have some realizations in our life, yeah. especially for the world to understand about that He is always in control. Absolutely agree with you 100%. And I hope it brings more people to Him. Yeah, people I realize know. who He is. Amen. All right, so thank you very much, brother. And this time, I really enjoy this, and I hope you guys. Kape pa nag enjoy man kamo sa aton ng vlog so bong and um, please keep on sharing, subscribe and um, do some comments um, below. Iko may mga suggestions kamo kung ano dapat i vlog. Pwede kita mo ka suggest and um, uh, for those who are back in the Philippines, stay at home, stay safe, pray always and yeah, enjoy each other's company. Thank you. And that's it for now, guys. And this has been Romeo, and God bless you all. <laughs>